Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Bios and today I am going to be teaching you how to use the schematics in the create mod. So without further ado, let's go. So in the create mod, you have multiple schematic uh, papers. As you can see, we have a schematic and quill and an empty schematic. With these papers, you can obviously copy and paste. So to do that, you are going to go to the building that you want to copy and you are simply going to build an outline. So to do that, I am going to put a block over here because I want this whole train to be copied. So to do that, I go into the schematic. As you can see, we have a blue outline that is going to appear on this block. We are going to click on that and I am going to go and put another support block right over here. Be careful, as you can see, I did a, a bad block placement because I almost forgot to take these. So I need to take this block and what we're going to do is we are going to take our schematic and quill and right click this block. Once you've done that, you can delete your two blocks because you do not want to paste those. It's finished. It's done. That, that's how it works. You copied a building. Now what we're going to do, we want to know how much materials and we want to place and paste our uh, building. So to do that, I'm going to go to my schematic that I just made and I'm going to right click. And once it's done, you can enter a name. So um, it can be whatever you want. Uh, if you uh, want to name it, uh, I don't know, um, a train or something, it will work. You can do whatever you want. But I already have one done, so I'm not going to copy that. As you can see, I deleted it, so it's, uh, it's gone. You don't have any um, blue outlines. But now, how do you access uh, your schematic? Well, it's really simple. You are going to go into the table. You're going to put an empty schematic. And as you can see, you have all your schematics right over here. So imagine I want new RCT uh, engine one. Well, I am going to put that on with my wheel and I am going to press this button. As you can see, there's a loading bar. And once this is done, we have a schematic. I'm going to throw this schematic away because I don't really need it. I already have one over here and we're going to use that one. So it's the same train over here that I copied. Uh, and to place it, what you're going to do is uh, if you want to place it better, you have all this menu over here. Um, this is to uh, scroll, um, uh, well, to place the train or the build that you want. Uh, so I'm going to teach you how to use that as you can see there is a little sentence hold M to focus So I'm gonna hold M and as you can see now I can go into this little menu So you have move X Z so that is going to be really simple It's to it's so when you hold control you can pull uh, the schematic towards you or you can push it um, If you want to uh, this way you can do it too but now imagine uh, it's way too low or way too high. What you're going to do is press M. You're going to go to move Y. And as you can see, I'm moving it upwards and downwards. Now, there are a lot more to do with this menu. As you can see, we have the position. If you don't really want to scroll everywhere and you want to go all the way over there, what you can do is just, as you can see, I have a new blue outline. And if I paste it over here, sorry, up there, you can see that my train got pasted. So I'm going to put it back over here. There we go. And yeah, as you can see, the wheels are in the ground. So I'm going to go in M. I'm going to go and move Y and I'm going to put it up. Now, if it's not in the right position, I mean, uh, rotated uh, normally. Well, you can go into rotate and when you press control and uh, use your your wheel, as you can see, the train or the schematic is turning. It's rotating. So that's really awesome. And if it's if you want to mirror it, well, you have a special option right over here where when you press control and use your scroll wheel, as you can see, it's mirroring the schematic. So that's really awesome. But now if you want uh, to know the materials you need to build, because as you can see, this is not placed yet. This does not exist. It's just, yeah, it's a it's sort of a ghost. Well, it's really simple. Um, I can put my schematic with a book. Let me take a book. There we go. Um, I'm going to put my schematic over into, wait, no, it's in the cannon, sorry, uh, my schematic into the cannon. As you can see, because it is placed, you have to place your schematic or it will not work. Uh, as you can see, it is placed and now I'm going to put a book and there's a loading bar and I have my materials checklist. Now that I have my materials checklist, I can check whatever materials I need. So when it's in blue like this, it means that I don't have the materials. And when it's in green, it means I have. So 
uh, let me take something that I don't have, like cherry slabs. Um, I'm going to go into a cherry slab. Whoops, I did something wrong. Cherry slabs. There we go. Now, if I put this into the chest, because yes, uh, this uh, this book works because uh, the schematic cannon is connected to the chest. I'm going to go back to the schematic cannon. Don't worry. Um, I'm going to put my cherry slab. I'm going to put four. One, two, three, four, because I need four. And uh, I think I need four. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. No, five, uh, six. Yeah, you know what? Let's check into the book. Uh, cherry slab. I need 10. Okay, I need 10. My bad. I need 10. So let's put 10 of those in here. And if I update the book, because yes, you need to update the book. The thing that is good is that um, the schematic is still into the schematic cannon. So you don't need to, um, you know, put in a chest, uh, put it back, put it in, put it back. That's really awesome. So I'm going to take a new book. Every time you need to... Uh, wait, no. I don't need to take a new book. What am I saying? Uh, you can just load it back in and when I take it, you will see that in my red, uh, green um, blocks that I do have, I have cherry slabs. So that's pretty awesome because you do, if, if you have a big train like that or a big schematic, you do not want to count every single block and you might miss one. And it's really annoying just starting a project and uh, having to go and gather some uh, materials because you forgot a block. Now I am going to show you how to build and paste uh, the schematic that you have because in a creative it's pretty simple all you need to do is really take your schematic whoops take your schematic and you are going to place it like so and once this is done you only all you need to do is go into the print option and right click and it will print it like so but in survival it's not like that because you don't have infinite materials you have this chest right here as you can see and uh, to do that, all you're going to need to do is put gunpowder over here and put your schematic over here and then you will uh, need to play it. But if you didn't have missing items, well, it would be shooting blocks and placing uh, uh, all the schematic. So guys, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please make sure to subscribe and like and share to your friends. It will be really important. So yeah, I hope you liked this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. Yeah, um, it's me editing the video and I just realized I said, uh, as you can see, like over 50 times. It's driving me crazy. But anyways, I will see you in the next video.